So this might have been like the center, as where we're standing yeah. here, of uh, some sort of ceremony. Okay, so it'd be this here. This is the tallest one. So it'd, of the be, these, it'd yeah. be these three. Yeah. These are some special stones. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Stonehenge is not the oldest man-made structure, but this prehistoric monument has captured the imagination of millions. Over the centuries, numerous people have attempted to learn more about Stonehenge. How was it made? Why? You'd think that after so much time, we'd have solved the mysteries once and for all. Here's where it gets crazy. After thousands of years, we still aren't sure exactly what Stonehenge is. While increasingly sophisticated technology gives us new insights on the monument, the answers often only lead to more questions. What was Stonehenge's purpose? Over the years, people have floated dozens of theories, ranging from a healing site to an ancestral shrine, a calendar, even the remnants of an ancient Roman camp and more. Researchers have also argued that Stonehenge was meant to be a kind of auditory illusion or echo chamber, and studies by the University of Salford have proven that the structure has extraordinary acoustics. Many of these theories have been debunked. However, some appear promising, if not conclusive, such as the idea that Stonehenge is part of an ancient funereal site. Stonehenge, the theory goes, represents death, while nearby Durrington Walls represents life. The discovery of cremated remains at Stonehenge lends credence to this idea, and this leads us to another unanswered question. Just how big is Stonehenge? The answer depends on what we define as Stonehenge. That circle of large sarsen stones is what most people think of when they hear the name, but continuing research indicates that the stones we associate with Stonehenge are only one part of an elaborate spiritual complex. In 2014, archaeologist Vincent Gaffney and his crew concluded a four-year study mapping the surrounding area using high-resolution radar, magnetic, and laser scans. They found 17 new monuments and, as reported by Nature, signs of a 1.5-kilometer super hinge. Future excavations may clear this up or simply discover new questions, such as the preponderance of male remains found at the site. It appears that only certain people were interred at the complex. Why? Were these the honored dead of their society or merely sacrifices? Researchers Mike Parker Pearson and Mike Pitts believe that these men had high status and were possibly members of the royal lines responsible for creating the structure. And there's one more theory. What if Stonehenge is a map? According to fringe researchers, this is an ancient star map with encoded messages with the position of a star system identifying human origins. While it's true that the structure aligns with the solstices, mainstream scientists completely dismiss the notion of an ancient star map meant to guide humans. For the mainstream, these fringe theories about Stonehenge are only speculation running wild. To their advocates, however, from ancient alien enthusiasts to neo-pagans and more, Stonehenge represents something incredibly important to humanity as a whole, and it isn't mysterious at all. Instead, it represents something the mainstream doesn't want you to know. When we finish the, this project, when, when the data's been processed, and that's only a matter of days, really, we will produce the first substantive map of the landscape of Stonehenge, uh, touching every part of the landscape rather than the bits we knew about, about already. And that is going to fundamentally change how we view the most important archaeological monument in Britain and probably the world.